I'm Bob of Bob's Workshop. I'm usually not a fan of any series that resorts to having a clip show. You know, just reusing old material instead of producing new content. But over the past couple of years, I've made a few opening sequences and animations of which I'm especially proud. So please forgive me for making a clip show, but thanks in advance for watching or at least making it this far before you close this video and watch something else. pretty loyal Apple customer. To make that last video, I assembled most of the trains using basic drawing and shapes tools found in Pages and Keynote. Keynote is a presentation program that also allowed me to create movement and paths for those trains to follow. After exporting that file into iMovie, a filter was applied to give the whole thing more of a hand-drawn appearance. Up next is an opening I made after watching The Man in the High Castle on Amazon Prime. It's a show that combines science fiction and World War II. I decided to repaint an O-scale train to resemble something from the world depicted in that series. This is one of my favorites. I've owned the same Datsun 210 for over 40 years now. It was not running for more than 20 of those years, but 2022 marked its return to the road. The driver's side looks pretty good, but the passenger side needs work. 
I briefly toyed with the idea of repainting just that one side to resemble a certain famous Datsun 510 from the 1970s. This is an animation that I made using Keynote and iMovie to show what that car might look like. The first videos I made for Bob's workshop involved repainting die-cast cars and then making custom decals for them with my MacBook. After I made 10 that I actually liked, I had to make a top 10 countdown, of course. Duh. If you want to see the other nine, that video is still available. Just music and images, I don't say a single word, unlike this video. My next project involved foam core and a crap ton of printer paper. Crap ton is an actual unit of measurement. Look it up. After making the building facades, I wanted a fun way to introduce the finished product. As you may have noticed, iMovie plus music equals coolness. That's real math.
This is another Man in the High Castle train makeover featuring a Williams locomotive combined with quad 20mm anti-aircraft guns. It's just a little bit of editing mixed with some dramatic music to present the completed project to the tens and twenties of viewers who watch this channel. Enjoy. One of the many benefits of using computers is the ability to go back and easily make changes. Some of the footage here was used in my Top 10 Trains countdown. Locomotives were replaced with 1982 Datsuns or trucks, and once created, signs and graphics are easy to modify and repurpose as well. I'm not alone in liking the Back to the Future movies. I had an idea to transform an O-gauge train into another one of Doc Brown's time machines. The makeover never happened, but I was excited enough about the project to make this opening sequence. So, that brings us to the end of the clip episode. I thought it was my first clip episode, but if you think about it, any kind of top 10 countdown is basically a clip episode too. So, I didn't realize that. Now I've done three clip episodes, it would seem. I'm also getting close to having uh, 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing to me. Thank you very much. If you've been watching this channel and you've subscribed, it means a lot to me. This is close to my 200th video, too. I think it's actually number 183. 
So you've heard me say it almost 200 times now, but if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Thank you and take care.